What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the Petrify Meme Team. Man, I just realized we are almost level 150 as well. Not too bad, you know, where does privilege stop? You know, I know we just started this video and I get distracted very easily, but um... Okay, yeah, so we get another 2,000 coming our way. I'll take it, sometimes you forget about those. And then of course, so yeah, we'll get another 3,000 gems. Perfect, perfect timing. For anniversary so we got about a week and a half about about that unless we hear some different news tonight about a week and a half to go but um yeah overall we're working through our monthlies but one big thing that we haven't really touched is our broken spaces and I'm really interested to see how far we can get this month granted Charles are not good in PvE damage they are just not good at all and the other thing is, if we use the Jaras, we'll probably have to sit our carry. We'll see. Yeah, I think I think that's going to have to happen. <laughs> but um, let's get our Jaras all set up. We're going to run full offensive enables, but keep Purify on. I guess what we really have to see is, is it better running an Amon Ra, a 10-star Amon Ra, or an E5 uh carry because e5 carry with the energy drain that's pretty reliable can actually reduce the incoming damage from the enemies by a ton so let's get these three jars geared out here we go and i think we're just gonna leave the artifacts that we have on them we're just gonna leave them for now there's not a big difference in swapping say like uh, on this one we have we have Rui Scepter. I mean, yeah, we'd probably do more damage if we jumped over and put the Magic Ball on. Mm, I don't think it's really worth the effort. Uh, we do have, so we do have an Amon Ra. And of course, we have the Heart Watcher with Split Gear as well. Never really leveled her stone up. Probably should since we're going to be, uh, since we're going to be attempting some, some harder levels today. Hopefully, we're going to be able to push into Broken Spaces 6. Are we going to get it done? I really don't know. That's going to be a big question mark. I think we're going to try to get this up to like a C6 stone, but I want I want an HP HP stone. Definitely want an HP HP. Nah, we got to keep going further. Even though it was HP HP, let's just go a little bit further. One more upgrade. That's not a good one. That's not a good one. And now we're going to start wasting resources. That's not a good one. <laughs> All right, we're just going to do some conversions now because uh, ooh, that, that one's actually fine. You know what? I'll take crit HP. I'll take it. Give her a little bit of healing as well. That's fine. I do actually want to level her up as well because Broken Spaces is the one place you really need a tanky Heart Watcher or at least a tankier Heart Watcher. We're going to go through all the rest of our spirit though, which is going to feel really bad. Because then that just means we're not going to have enough for uh, Amon Ra when we finally level her up as our next hero. But Heart Watcher, 9 star, that'll have to do. And of course, we need to be using one of these Death Swarms right here with energy just to make sure... <laughs> Just to make sure we get a burn on that target. And we need to test if a level 2 is a high enough level for speed. Things like that. Uh, yeah, we still don't have skin fusions to go. Monster, do we have anything we can do here? Ah, uh, should be plenty fast. Plenty, plenty fast. That looks good there. So, let's jump on over. I kind of want to try using the carry first especially on this e on these like easier levels i feel like the carry is going to do a lot more work for us for damage wise as well compared to uh compared to the amon Ra. where oh where is our death sworn so let's watch this honestly i want to put death sworn in slot one just so he dies off immediately doesn't take any of the phoenix buffs so let's jump into it we got the three e5 jaras you know, I could probably build a carry for bet more attack as well, but I want to see what her damage numbers actually look like here before we want to take the time and do that because I feel like Amon Ra might be the better option with those shields. Man, man, oh man. Even in Broken Spaces 2, they can't even do damage to the level 2 Death Sworn, all thanks to the Phoenix. We got the Phoenix maxed out attack and defense. 
I'm hoping these Jaras can do something for us. I mean, this is definitely not going to be a sub 100 broken spaces ticket lineup just because Jaras are garbage. Here's the hope and someday maybe she gets another buff because the last buff didn't really do much for her. <laughs> really hoping for more damage out of her, but... I mean, normally teams only take one attack to do this wave, whereas we are taking three, it looks like. It's gonna be about three attacks, yeah. And last round, no active, sadly. I mean, she's doing 26 million. That's a lot of damage, right, guys? <laughs> um, yeah, carry doesn't do all that much. So I'm feeling like we will probably, probably just use our Amon Ra overall. I think that would be the better option. Get that smash out of the way. So we get two there. All right. So let's go through and let's watch this one. Let's go with Amon Ra. See how it works out. I think we'll be fine. Honestly, we probably could have done without it here, too, just because, I mean, we're, we shouldn't have anybody die on these. We shouldn't have any hero die on these waves at all. And honestly, Carrie would probably save us some stuns, too. Yeah, I think Carrie, I think Carrie's going to be the better option here at the very least. What type of damage we doing here? Oh, look at that awesome 300 million. <laughs> be great if it was like a year ago. Oh, man. So, we did about 10%. Let's swap it around. We'll call it 11%. We'll call, we'll call it 11. See what we can do with the carry because the carry should make it so that uh, our heroes don't get stunned as often, I feel like. Although, maybe it's the... Is it the basic attack that can stun or only the active? I always forget with Margaret. I think it's the active. I could be totally wrong here, guys. Totally wrong. But either way, carry should do more damage overall. Yeah, I mean, she hits for like 3 million with that energy drain on a full bar. So it's not horrible. I mean, it's not amazing either, but... But she will be a good frontline tank versus those Grus. We will not be watching the Gru fights because... Everybody knows how bad the Gru fights are. <laughs> they are abysmal to watch. All right, not too bad, not too bad. That's a decent amount. So what do we do there? So we are at 77. So it's a little bit more damage. A little bit more. Let's throw in five. I think we can do it with five with this lineup. Go back to that. Is that good? Nope. Gonna take even more. Wow. Should we take three more? So here wow. Ah oh, guys, our luck. It just took eight tickets. Nine tickets. I'd like nine or ten tickets to clear stage six. Stage three. I just get off work, guys. Give me a little bit of slack here. Just give me a little bit of slack. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, but the brain, the brain just doesn't work on Mondays, which is typically why I don't put out videos on Monday, but I just really wanted to get this done for you guys today. Give you guys some more action to see since we're not going to be doing a live stream tonight. So the Gru Wave. I'm wondering if a Heart Watcher can live in the front row. Feel like that would be better. But you know what? Might as well just play it safe. Might as well play it safe. Let's see what our damage numbers look like. We're definitely not watching this fight because that would be horrible. So we're doing less than half a billion. Oof. Oof. Carrie actually put out some good damage numbers. So let's see what would happen if we uh, switch that positioning around. I think Heart Watcher lives. I think she does. Nah, that's actually lower damage. Could have been RNG, but ugh, this is going to feel so bad, guys. going to feel so bad. We need to throw in like... 50 tickets at this wave just to clear it 50 tickets Ugh, here we go 50 tickets bye bye still didn't clear it it was close oh man oh man 
This is not feeling good. All right, this one we will definitely watch. Uh, let's compare in this one to see if carry does enough because most of the CC here comes from energy. So if we can prevent them from using their actives, then that means we don't sit in as much CC, which means more damage and more heart watcher marks. And it makes heart watcher live longer as well. So they still cannot touch death one though. That's absolutely crazy. I mean, he's going pretty good. I don't think we don't need the Yaman Ra, so the carry definitely works for us. Uh, having that Heart Watcher Frozen hurts. All right, come on, carry. There we go. At least we got Valentino's energy. Ooh, another another stun on that Heart Watcher. Ooh, that one's really bad. That's a lot of CC on that back row. That back row. If only you could CC them, right, guys? That would be perfect. I mean, it wasn't horrible. We definitely don't need the Amon Ra. So that's good. Almost at a billion. Is that... Am I, am I doing that math right? Yeah, almost at a billion. I mean, that's horrible for 45 heroes. One Garuda would already be destroying that, but... Hey, I mean, we did more damage than the last one, so 3% means we should only go for like 35 of these should do it. No, not quite, not quite. I was being a little too optimistic right there. Let's see, how many more did it take? Oh, wow, that's 10 and... Oh, that's not good. What is happening here? We're using the same lineup. That's really weird. Okay. Down to 49 tickets, guys. I don't I don't think we're finishing it this time. We're definitely still not there. And probably will never be there. Although, if we do manage to get past this wave with our team, we could always consider bringing back our girl DA for that broken space of seven. But I don't think that's going to happen. And I don't think Carrie is doing what we need. I think we need Amon Ra here. Actually, I'm wondering if Amon Ra and Carry is going to be a better option due to RNG than having a Death Swarm. That was really bad damage. Okay. So let's do one quick swap, do that change right there, and see what it looks like with that type of lineup where we have shields. It's just so much CC. So much. Ooh. Good lord, this one's going really bad, <laughs> really bad. Oh no, oh man, and our jars just don't crit for that much either, so she really does not heal. I don't even think there's a point throwing attacks at this one, so let's try this because we're not living long enough to really even benefit from the phoenix burn and all the buffs, so let's just see what it looks like if we have both the carry and the Amon Ra. It already feels like it's going better. I mean, especially limiting Oberon. Not letting Oberon get actives is huge because then it's just one seed per turn. Whereas an active can just completely wreck our team. This is going really good. Really, really good. So the double support for our lineup is better than having the burn. Is at least we're able to do some damage here. But I think we're going to save the rest of our tickets for next month. Maybe by next month we'll be even a little bit stronger. Although I don't see us having more damage because I mean, we're building Jaras. Unless we get a brand new hero. Maybe another shadow hero down the road that has Petrify as well. Oh, we actually lived the whole fight. 252,000. Carry is the number one damage dealer. We definitely do definitely don't have the resources for that so we're definitely gonna hold on i know i'm definitely 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 talking about definitely but not gonna happen <laughs> let's see anything good here then we only got oh we didn't even have enough for any other artifacts we do have a lot of five stars though we can consider building up some more heroes soon although a lot of times especially on the petrify meme team since there isn't tons of progress all the time 
I kind of like holding on to it. I like waiting, seeing what we can do at the monthly reset. Use all those fusions up. Kind of feels good. But uh, let's go back to our tankier setup for PvP because we also are going to just do our uh, Brave Trial real quick as well. We do need to make another video on uh, Aspen Dungeon as well. It's been a while since I've seriously tried to push to death with this lineup. Don't know if we can. Jara just doesn't seem to do all that well. And Jara definitely seems like she needs resilience, which means if we do come up against Wave with uh, tons of CC, it can be really difficult to get past. Carry, carry, carry. Let's put you back to some speed enables as well. Okay. This should be pretty easy to do. The one problem we have with this account, though, is we don't really have a solo carry hero for this. I mean, technically, we could just throw carry in there and see if, if she can do it. But Jar is really not one that can one shot a whole team like you could with a penny or even like a garuda does really well just because garuda heals back up when she kills all those little tiny targets but we normally have to go in here with our whole team and then do a couple revives depending on the team matchups it, hopefully we dodge a lot of garudas that had a 10 star okay we didn't lose any health we're good we're good but let's keep on pushing through here Looks good, looks good. Although there's really no heroes we want from Brave Trial, so I have been I have been not pushing to night 15 if I feel like I have bad matchups. Just because, yeah, I probably should for more of the scales. But at the same time, what's the point? Kinda? I mean, you can't get Amon Ra copies. I guess we could save up like Mim copies, but we've already fed off Mims. So it would feel bad to now go back and build him. I mean, we could look for Aspen copies, I guess, just to help push Dark Sea Land. Ugh. This is going to be a bad one. Yep, defeat. <laughs> All of that carry. We'll, we'll. Let's just revive the. Let's revive the squad. Spam that clicking, boys. There we go. There we go. All right. Keep pushing. Let's see if we can maybe get Aspen. I feel like that's really the only hero copy we're looking for at this point. I can't wait to level up this uh, Amon Ra, though. The Amon Ra could be strong at E5, at least in our current meta on our server. Current meta on our server, which is still pretty early. Ugh. Is it worth it, guys? Is it worth it? Yeah, why not? We'll do one more. We got... 380 tickets still we'll do one more because you know that's pretty much our motto anyway guys right one more <laughs> oh it's the bane of my gem savings is one more <laughs> every time i said i'm like well there goes a couple profit orbs out the door all right at least we got an easy night 15 let's see who did we get da not gonna buy a da because again i just feel like we're not gonna start we're not gonna build her not gonna build her i don't think at least i don't even think we have extra copies of her anyway if we build anything it'll be a second almond raw or something like that so and not too bad we got broken spaces done to uh stage six so we got the first five done not too bad we're able to save 46 tickets maybe next month we'll be able to push and at least beat stage six it's just there's so much cc it can be so difficult stage seven i feel like can be easier than stage six sometimes depending on your lineup but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this one definitely make sure you check out the news video in the morning can't wait to see hopefully it's just imps adventure and no no talks about anniversary just yet but i also did notice that on reddit it does look like dh games is going to be doing another question and answer session on thursday night so we'll have to see if we live stream it or not not sure it's going to be pretty late for me but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys next time